One day, I was busy browsing my phone, and I came across this. Well, voting has ended in widely discredited referendums. Yeah, I reacted just like you have. Abigail pushed my nerves to the edge. Hi kids, my name is Abigail and I'm going to talk about the importance children as we have to know our parents' phone number. Kampala Edge Times. Did it spill? We got it. As adorable as she looks, Abigail is able to maintain camera eye contact better than I do. Look at this. It's to pay for compulsory meal in a bay to boost children's health. The Board of Governors and the School Food Committees will be required to meet with parents and agree on how much each learner will pay. Now the Uganda National Teachers Union leadership is meeting with President Yuri Museveni. To Who is this young girl? Abigail! Hi! Hi. Hello. An interview journalist paid a surprise visit. That's when I decided to meet her. So I plotted the same, although I had neither a map nor a contact. Yep, you had that right. I started preparing myself to meet Abigail with nothing but my faith and hope. However, I realized that it is very expensive to reach her place using safe border. So. I used the means I hate most. We are on our way to Chanja. I just got into a taxi. Fingers crossed, we shall meet Abigail. Try and error. Now, just for the record, I didn't have any connection with this girl, not even with her parents. I went to find her simply because I thought I can. The problem with believing in yourself is that you can't perform miracles. But you can try again and again. Somehow you always hit the jackpot. Now speaking of jackpots, this border guy hit one within my struggle because my expenses almost hit 10 freaking dollars. We really had to struggle asking people one by one if they could lead us to this girl's residence. For privacy and security purposes, we can't reveal what clues we used. It was after almost an hour that we landed on an expert known as I told Joseph, but thank you so very much. There came the part when I knocked the gate for almost 30 minutes. Goodness, this was very exhausting, I promise you. Almost 15 minutes of knocking at the gate and nobody, absolutely nobody has opened up for us. I'm going to have a meal right now so that, you know, I can buy time. It was just 11 a.m. and so I had to pull out my laptop and edit this very part you are watching as I waited for Abigail, who was supposed to be home by 3 p.m. Unfortunately, after my lunch, Abigail was still at her church, so I couldn't see her that Sunday. However, I managed to get her dad's contact, so the new plan was to meet Abigail the following Friday. See you then! Finally, Friday arrived, and I was super excited to meet Abigail for the first time. This is the most outstanding experience I have had in a while, and you will agree with me by the end of the video. I landed in her school at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and here is everything that went down. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kampala Edge Times. I believe this is an episode like no other before. As Kampala Edge Times, we like to promote positivity and inspiration, and today we have nothing more than inspiration from one and only Abigail Molonji. Uh, many of you must have seen her uh, on morning at NTV. Today we had to get in touch with Abigail. As you saw earlier on, we struggled a lot, but finally we have her here. Welcome to Kampala Edge Times, Thank Abigail. You so much. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Yes. Are you from BBC? Mm. I saw you making 100,000 followers on TikTok. Who is Abigail Mulonji? I am Abigail Mulonji. 
I'm the Joseph and Mr. and Mrs. Nsereko. I come from Chanja and I have two brothers and sisters. You have two brothers and sisters? Three. Three. Okay. What inspired you? What gave you that urge to begin making such videos? Um, I started when I was watching news mm -hmm. and I developed the love, the passion to start reading news. And then I went to daddy and I told him, Daddy, I want to become a news anchor. You want to be a news anchor? Don't you fear those huge cameras facing you? And no, I don't fear no. them. Abigail can face the camera better than I do. Give us a sample of yourself reading any random news. Yes. Mm -hmm. My name is Abigail and this is the news today. Parent learners in both private and government schools will be required to dig deep into their pockets to pay for compulsory milk in a bid to boost children's health. The Board of Governors and the School Food Committees will be required to meet with parents and agree on how much each learner will pay. Mr. Mtekanga, however, said parents who are unable to pay through the school should be allowed to give learners money to buy milk from the school canteens during breakfast. That was the news. I'm Abigail. Have your classmates seen what you're doing? Of course, they have seen what I'm doing. Sure. And they're saying that what I'm doing is a great job. And when I feel down, they tell me to keep on going. Where can I find such classmates? Uh, you can find them in P3 Brilliant. Uh, which school do you study from? I study from Grand Salai Nursery and Junior School in Kasubi. What class are you attending currently? I am attending P3 Brilliant. My name is Abigail and I want to welcome your parents to bring your children to come here to Grand Salai. It is a good school. It has proper feeding. Uh, that's why I'm looking like this. We are smart, as smart as our teachers. They teach both academics and religion. That's why I am looking like this. You will like to come and be studying with Uncle Lucky, our devotion teacher, and our English teacher, Teacher Mariam. What other skills do you have apart from uh, reading news? Mm, the other skill I have is dancing. You can dance? Yes. Do you know Mildred Pedro? No. You don't watch NTV? Uh, no, I only watch Priscilla. That's your favorite news anchor? Yes. I hope she gets to watch this. What do your parents teach you to, to grow into? They teach me to keep on studying. That I have to be studying as, as well. I'm also doing the news anchoring. Do you want to join TV as early as now? Yes. What would you like to present? you want to stick to news only? Yes. When were you born? What's your age? Because we are wondering, um, who is this baby reading for us news? I was born in September 15th and I was born in the year of 2013. That means you are? Nine years old. What makes a nine year old begin having this big dream of reading news? I don't know, but to me, it's a big dream come true. Sure. Yes. What, what, why do you call it a big dream come true? Because... You don't, uh, you don't believe you can read news? Uh, when I was three years and I started watching news with my grandmother, I started loving news because every time when it's time for news, I could switch on the TV. Sure. Yes. You preferred news to cartoons. You don't yes. watch cartoons. I don't watch cartoons. That's creepy. <laughs> You don't. So, your favorite show is news? Yes. Sure. I don't know basically which is my favorite channel because I mostly watch like every TV channel. Because sure. every, t every TV channel is different and unique in its own way. That's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Abigail just blew my mind right away. Every TV channel is unique and different. In its own way. I've seen a lot of people out there comparing maybe NTV to NBS, CNN to BBC. Thank you, Abigail, for that information. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. So what, what's your favorite subject in class? I love mathematics. That's a surprise. <laughs> you know it's a surprise, don't you? Yes. Why do you love mathematics instead of... I, before I wanted to become a news anchor, 
I wanted to become an actress. Okay. That's why my father and mother told me you have to start studying math and you have to work really hard. They told you being an actress involves math. Yes. Um, when I started watching news, I admired the news anchors and I also wanted to become like them. Do you believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What's your religion in that case? I am a born again Christian. Sure. Where do you pray from? I pray from Victory, Victory Church in Tinder. That's lovely. Abigail is a born again Christian and she believes in God. What is your biggest achievement so far? I have achieved like every time, every single time. Whenever I go back home, daddy tells me there is a TV that wants to interview me when I'm not even ready. Wow. How many TVs have interviewed you so far? Three. Three. Those are? NTV, mm -hmm. UBC, and this. This very one. You're very much welcome. And we are very honored. What's your dream destiny? I want to become a news anchor in the future. Mm -hmm. And I also want to become an actress. At the same time? Yes. Would that be possible? Yes, it would be possible. Don't you think they are contradicting? No. Something people don't know about you? First of all, I'm um, a great dancer. I also can sing. I can read the Bible. My favorite memory verse, John chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 22. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was light, and the light was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear, witness of that light that all through him might believe. He was in the world, and the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many had received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born, nor of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor, nor of the will of man, but of God. The world became a human being, and full of grace and truth, lived among us. He saw his glory, the glory which he received as father of only yeah. son. Thank you so much. Yeah. When did you start doing TikTok? Uh, three months ago. Three months ago. And yes. you're already 100k ahead of us. Yes. Amazing. How about YouTube? YouTube, I started last week. Sure. Yes. You're going to make it. I promise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. What music do you like? I really like gospel music. Planet Checkers or Levixon? I love both types of gospel music. Like, which is your favorite gospel song? My favorite gospel song is The Lord Bless You. I don't know who sang it because okay. different people will sing it. Okay, spell the word photosynthesis. P H O. Yes. C O. Yes. S Y. Yes. N E S I S. She's very close to it. Although <laughs> you missed one later. N. No, you missed a T before H. Sing for us one song you love a lot. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Which secondary school would you love to go to? Um, I would like to go to a school that will help me to achieve my dream, that will help me to make my dream come true. Because there, I prefer a school that will help me to build my dream and to help me keep on going. Beautiful. Which English do you prefer? USA or UK? I don't know which English I would really prefer because there are some times where you have to use American English or there are some times where you have to use 
UK English. This is a true journalist. This girl is non-partisan. That's what I've realized. She doesn't take sides. And even when I asked her about her school, like what she wants to take, she does not have a specific school. She just wants one that will help me to achieve my dream. Excellent. See you very soon when you're like Nalwoga. Wouldn't you want to work at NTV? I would like to. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself in five years still like making up my own news. Making up your own news, like reading your own news. Yeah, I could ask children their parents' phone numbers. Yes, I watched that video. You were such a baby. I was three years old. Three years old. That was so nice. I watched, you're going to watch it by the way for yourself, how you look. I watched it before. Yes. So, maybe as we are about to conclude, we would like you to give us some wise words you would like your mates and other young girls to know. I would like them to not give up on what they want to become, to ask their parents for support and to keep encouraging themselves that they can make it in life. What would you advise them? To not give up on what they want to become, like when they want to become like me, they could ask their parents for support and keep on going. Go and subscribe to Abigail's channel. It's called Abigail Mulunji Official, isn't it? Yes. And what is your TikTok? Abigail Mulunji 2. Abigail Mulunji 2. Yes, so go and subscribe and follow her everywhere. This pretty lady is going to do wonders. I'm really glad that you guys have tuned in once again. And it's such an honor because it takes ages creating this. From me and the entire Kampala Edge Times team, I have to say goodbye. Kampala Edge Times. Did it spill? We got it.